Uh, let me adjust the camera first, actually. Might start this recording, but uh, it won't. Would it be? Wouldn't be a Remus the Idiot video if it were if the video didn't start off like this. Oh, hell yeah, baby. <laughs> Hello there, everyone. My name is Danmaku Unlimited 3, and welcome to Remix the Idiot. Uh. One of my all-time favorite bullet hell games. And uh, I'm finally deciding to make a let's play of it. Uh, I brought this game a long time ago on my Nintendo Switch. And uh, yeah, now I have the PC version here as well, so I can make a let's play of it. Uh, in short, this game is awesome, and this video is going to show you why. Max that out, baby. Let's go with that. Why not? Photo sensitivity mode. Eh? Game resolution. Full on linear. Sure. Uh, control settings. Make it fire. Trans. Back. Huh? Wait, how about shift? Okay. Uh, I will be trying to... Uh, since, the, since I played it on the Switch, it only makes sense that I play for this Let's Play with this, but uh... Since I prefer keyboard for, bullet, for my bullet hell games... Okay, wow, the game is actually really loud now, but I like it that way, so... I can just lower the volume myself. It is a bit annoying though. I'm in stats. High scores. Okay, so I'll be playing through the game in spirit mode. It appears this is your first time playing the game mode. Would you like to play the tutorial? Yes, please. Uh, saves me the hassle of trying to explain things to people. Move the fighter using the joystick. Eh? But I'm playing with a key- Shoot with the fire button. Hold the beam. I'll fire him to switch to a strong beam attack. The ship will move slower when the beam button is pre- Oh. Press the bomb button to fire a bomb that damages enemies. This isn't how I remember. Actually, this is exactly how it works. Spirit mode bomb. When the core hits, the ship is destroyed. When there are no more... The core is referring to that glowing yellow center thingy on your ship. Spirit slash graze system. Flying close to bullets will graze it, adding energy to the transmitter. Destroyed enemies leave their bullets behind the spirits that are harmless and also add to the transmitter. When the transmitter is full, press the bomb button to enter trance mode. It's automatic by default. Trance mode powers up the ship's weapons and all destroyed enemies during trance convert their bolts into gems. Gems add to the graze counter and can have big effect on scores. This concludes the tutorial. Right, I will be keeping the trance gauge on auto, but uh, since this is just normal, and uh, that saves me the hassle of thinking. 
And yeah, I will be playing on medium. I haven't beaten it in hard and true yet and stuff. One day though, one day. Uh, but yeah, uh, it's much better for you to do that, to make that manual. Anyway, I want to change the controls. I want my beam to be shift and my trans to be X. There we go. Toho controls, baby. Pause is P. Yeah, that makes enough sense, I guess. Save. Save. Alright, let's go. I haven't unlocked any of the other shot types yet. Uh, my favorite, uh, personally, is Type C and Type uh, D. Uh, but we'll be going with standard Type A, Type A for, uh, for this one. Trans mode control shall be automatic. Alright. Let's go. With stage one. This will be a bit of a guide since, like, I, I am, not to brag, but I'm kind of an expert at this game. Arise from your slumber, but carry justice. Bring justice to those who bring malice. Alright, so our ship's name. Stage one. Yesterday's tomorrow. The stage name is also the name of the OST that's playing. Ain't that funny? Yesterday's tomorrow. Isn't that funny? Sounds like a terribly Google translated name. So this is the first stage. There aren't a lot of bullets yet, uh, but this is just the beginning. And uh, yeah, our ship's called Valkyria. This is like the third game in the series. It's the most polished uh, one to date and the best one. I haven't played the other games. Uh, maybe someday I'll try to play them. But uh, three is the best looking and playing one. So I, I'm sticking with that. I'm not doing a good job with grazing. I need to constantly be grazing. If I let my gra if I let my fucking graze die out, that won't be good. Maybe I'll restart, but uh, this is normal mode. I can, I can get away with a lot of mistakes. Uh, you see that over there, a, a bit over at the top right. Those are your ship counts. If you get hit and you don't have any bombs on your bomb mode, there's no way for you to get extra lives, by the way. So, every stage you get a single bomb, but that's it. If your bombs are maxed out, which you can have a total of four up, you start off every start a stop with two. Gotta keep that raise up. Uh, well, I got a lot on my thoughts, a lot I want to say, but like, I have no idea where to start. Okay, that is embarrassing. Yeah, I'm, I'll try, I'm still just trying to explain the mechanics to you, the stuff, the game doesn't explicitly tell you, but they're obvious enough anyway. But uh, it helps to explain them. Yeah, if you, thought, uh, if you get hit, you automatically use a bomb. You can't turn it off if you want to be... Uh, hold on. I, I remember my strats here now for stage one in order to get the most graze and stuff. It's the more you graze, the faster the trance gauge fills up, the more score you can get, the higher your spirit mode thing is, and yeah. Uh, one thing I will... Uh, meant that one thing you should know that's really cool about Danmaku Unlimited 3 uh, is that none of the patterns in this game are random as far as I am aware. Everything is either static at or aimed at you. And the way the enemies move and stuff, like literally nothing about this game is random. Uh, and I really, really like that about the game because that means uh, this game can get really competitive if you really want it to be. And you can practice and memorize and master the game and make it your slave, make it your bitch and get like fucking a fuck ton of score and stuff. And the music, gosh, you won't hear you won't ever hear me stop talking and singing along to the music because yeah. These are some really epic high octane heavy metal 
and I love it. Uh, the songs uh, for the game are all composed by uh, the beat. I forgot their name, but you're probably you might be familiar with them if you've played other bullet hell games in your entire life. I am doing so pathetically right now. All right, last retry, okay? Last retry. <laughs> Uh, because, uh, yeah, the people that made this music, uh, hold on, let me, let me look it up right now. I have their full album. I have the, I have the al I have the entire soundtrack of this game on my phone. Uh, ah, Blank Field, yeah. Uh, and, uh. If you get the album, if you get the soundtrack, you'll realize the first stage, uh, the first stage's music is actually an entire five-minute piece. But you only get to hear the first two minutes of the song, and it's really freaking awesome. Yeah, Blank Field. You may recognize them uh, if you if you're a fan of Toho or even Undertale because they made some heavy metal remixes. Uh, Toho and and Megalovania. Uh, you've probably heard of the Asgore fight remix that they've made, uh, which is really awesome and stuff, and yeah. So yeah, this game is all about precision and mastery, and that's what I really like about it. No reactions or random bullshit. If something ha bad happens, it, you'll know for sure it's always going to be your fault. Making it the fairest and hardest Danmaku game for me, personally, and uh, yeah, and that's why I, that's one of the reasons why I really like this game. Not sure about the other games, but like uh, in the series, because again, I've I've only ever played this this one in particular. All right, this part is a little particular. Uh, uh, some sh ships show up on the left that shoot some aim shit at you while on the right and then it alternates uh, the aim shot and then the oh my grace fell down damn it damn it damn it damn it oh whatever i live i'm trying to go for a high score <laughs> there is it, it, there is more benefit even if you're even if you just want to beat the game and you're not trying to be a super epic badass and get lots of score. Uh, the more grays you have, the faster your transmitter fills up. And the faster your transmitter fills up, the faster, the more times you can activate your trans mode, the uh, and the more damage you'll deal, and you'll just overall do better. So yeah, you're encouraged a lot to graze in this game. I've always thought the uh, games that had the bullet hell games that had the graze mechanic uh, felt more like an afterthought to me. Because they don't really do anything much about it. But in the, uh, but in Danmak One Limited, grazing is the main mechanic. It's what you use to win. It's what you use to get a high score. It, everything relies on it, and you really want to hug those bullets. Uh, Danmak One Limited teaches and, and uh, you to embrace uh, being uh, very risky with your movements and play and playing. Anyway, uh, this is the final phase now, and uh, I I haven't explained every anything much about this boss or stage one. <laughs> I'm I'm too busy just explaining the general stuff about the game. <laughs> yeah, you see those lasers? Those lasers are graze fodder. Master how to use them to maximize the most graze you have per boss. It's, yeah, they're kind of the best way. Stage one has them. Stage two has them. Uh, the stage three boss. And well, it gets harder and harder, but yeah, they all uh, the bosses always have laser attacks that you can use. There's even a laser attack pattern that shows up in stage three and four, if I remember correctly. And uh, yeah, they're, uh, they're really bullshit over there. But if you learn how to use it, then hell yeah! All right, we're finally moving on to stage two. I swear I'm good at this, you guys. Stage two, scratch music. Scratch music is the name of a tank or something, apparently. And that's what this music and stage is named after. Uh, it doesn't matter how well you keep your graze. Uh, the moment you switch stages, your graze counter resets back to zero. So don't worry about it. 
I love that part so much, and then it goes in time with that mini boss, boss looking thing ship to show up. Like, oh god. The presentation as well, by the way. It's nothing special, you know? It's very generic sci-fi space. Uh, by the way, the story of the game is like, you're Valkyria, you, uh, humanity's fucking doing bullshit to planet Earth. Uh, using all, uh, making all this technology and shit and polluting the shit. So, in, in response, Mother Nature decided to steal the, the Earth technology. And use it against them and teach them a lesson. I think that's the story anyway. How much of that is real? How much of that did I just make up? Just to, just to make the game sound cooler than it already is? I don't know. But uh, who really cares about story? <laughs> it's just the gameplay. The gameplay is all that matters. And the game is fucking good. Enough said. You know? Yeah, it's stage two. There's a lot going on. I wish I could explain, but now that I'm done gushing about the music and the graphics and the gameplay, the mechanics and everything, I can go be professor mode now with, uh, with this shit and fucking explain. Alright, so this is the second wave. It's static. Like I said, nothing is random about this game. So stuff are either aimed at you or they're static. Either way, both are memorizable and can be dealt with. Uh, knowledge is all you need. That's why I consider as well that Danmaku Unlimited is kind of one of the best. I mean, Toho is still pretty good, but like, you know, ugh. In between the real waves, I like to say, there's these not real waves, the the rest waves, which uh, are typically always the same. All right, this next wave has a spiral pattern along with this laser. Try to stay as close to it as possible if you really want to get those grades and scores up. Your hitbox is actually small enough that you can ah, uh, never mind. Squeeze between those bullets, and uh, yeah, <laughs> I tried doing that, but yeah. Alright, so this next wave, alright, eventually he'll fire that attack pattern that forces you to squeeze it in between, like that, yeah. Uh, nothing you can do about it, just learn how to do that. Alright, for this final phase, there's this and then that, there's that shot pattern. The reverse billiard ball pattern, as I like to call it. Because it looks like a, the starting billiard ball, you know? A bunch of balls formed in a triangle. Yeah, that, what, that, uh, that built the reverse billiard ball thing is aimed at you. So that's the main reason you want to move around and go through the walls of bullets. And, you know, try to graze them. I lost one bomb, but that's fine. Uh, as long as we lose one bomb per stage, we should be good. Because if we don't lose any bombs, then, you know, our bombs will max out and, uh, yeah. Stage 3, Sturmbowl. If you thought stage 1 and 2 were easy, stage 3 is usually where things get real. Mm -hmm. uh, first thing I want to mention about the stage is the music. God, I love this music. It's a build-up. It's all build-up. This entire stage uh, music is just build-up. And I love it. It's this super... Uh, this game, the music starts off with this super slow thing as you're barraged with this uh, bullet stream. Uh, they're way more dense than ever before. Starting here and stuff. Alright, deal with that big guy that shoots this fixed pattern and then these guys that shoot aimed at you. There's six of them and they're in this hexagonal pattern and stuff. Alright, and there goes another one of them guys. Oh no, I'm a, such an idiot! I already made it this far. I'll just roll with the punches as best as I can. And then finally, here's the mid-boss. The giant ship thing. I believe all of his attacks are aimed at you. Well, most of them at least. Okay, so, uh, uh, so it's all about trying to avoid the aimed attacks while trying to... And once you beat him, it's in time. Uh, with the, It's typically in time with the drop. 
Dude. And then the stage name finally shows up. It's fucking awesome, man. I can't get it. I really can't get over that. It's just so awesome. Alright, and here comes the drop. Well, soon. Yeah, I really love slow build. Here's the laser pattern I was talking about. If you don't... If you don't know what you're doing... Uh, I uh, Honestly, if you're not an expert, I don't recommend trying to graze. It's not worth the graze meter and trance. You'll, you'll live better if you don't try going for graze. Okay, so all these aim shots are a lot harder to dodge. If uh, you're trying to graze those lasers. Activating the trance uh, does delete all bullets in the screen, so that's uh, another of the main reasons. If you get hit by tra uh, in while in trance mode, your trance ends immediately, and you do take the bomb. You do lose a bomb, so yeah, be careful with that. So yeah, you can use trance mode as a way to get out of something. When trance mode ends as well, you also uh, the bullets also get erased. So yeah, you can route uh, how you use your trance uh, if you switch if you decide to go manual instead of auto. You can route where you want to use your bombs, uh, your trance modes. Uh, use them on sections that you can't do very well on and stuff. Or use it as a get out of jail free card in a pinch. Uh, that attack is very fast and unpredictable. Like I said, not random, but you know, still hard. Uh, I hate the non-face uh, sections because uh, if you if you become way too reliant on using your uh, laser mode movement speed because it's slower and a lot easier to do focus. Uh, precise movement, then yeah, this this stage boss punishes you <laughs> for relying on that too much because you kind of want to move around a lot here pretty quickly because the bullets are quick and you need to move even quicker. And uh, no more micro dodging for you, says the game. Anyway, yeah, so nothing aimed or random here. Again, the, you just gotta find a way to move in between the walls before you. Okay, I died. You know what? Let's try again. Upgrade and lock. Number of continues increased. That's not really useful, you know. Uh, R. J. C. Those are my initials. Alright, I guess I can talk, up, talk about the other shot types. Uh, there's one shot, there's one primary and one beam type that's, uh, that has unknown requirements to unlock. Uh, but as for the other ones, you can unlock them just by fulfilling the things. Defeat the true boss. Uh, so yeah, there's a secret six boss you can do. Uh, tip that's typical for arcade bullet hell stuff. Uh, but the true boss can only be accessed and defeated uh, in hard or true difficulty. So yeah, break 3,000 bullets in one chain. The easiest I was able to do this was uh, in stage 3, I believe. There's like a lot of aim patterns there. I basically just trained in training mode and stuff and did it on hard. Uh, Beat the game on any difficulty. That one's the most straightforward. Uh, this one's for more than 1 billion points. I have no idea how to deal with that, but like, it's not really that good of a beam type, honestly. Well, if you get good at it, you can really use a lot out of it. Flawlessly defeat a boss in hard or true. Uh, that's ki it's kind of doable. I mean, any boss. So that means you can probably do that by just doing the... Hard mode stage 1 boss. Uh, Grace a total of 100,000 bullets. So that one you'll just unlock eventually. Right, uh, I can talk about the other modes. 
So uh, spirit mode is kind of the standard way of playing, but grace mode on true difficulty. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Uh, the tutorial is mostly the same, but uh, here's grace mode. I'm playing the game on grace mode. But uh, since I'm trying to showcase everything this game has to offer here. Yep, yep, yep. Move the ship with joystick. Shoot. And holler the beam. Alright, so you al already you'll notice a visual difference. That visual difference will be explained later. Press the bomb button to fire a bomb. Yeah, so far, just the standard controls. We've already been taught. In raise mode, a bomb will fire automatically when the core is about to be hit. All bombs are consumed when this occurs. So in here, you're kind of encouraged to manually detonate bombs yourself every now and then. When the core is hit, the ship is destroyed. And there are no more ships, the game is over. It's, yeah, it's way more punishing to get hit. Alright, now the spirit and graze system in graze mode. Flying close to the bullet will graze it, adding energy to the graze high meter. So yeah, grazing doesn't fill the trance mode anymore. Instead, it fills up a new meter. When the meter is full, the fighter will go into graze high. So yeah, you need to graze even more. <laughs> they should have called this game grazing the game. During Graze High, destroyed enemies will leave their bullets behind as spirits that are harmless and add energy to the trance meter. And then you can finally get your trance. Along with the gems. When the trance meter is full, press the bomb button to enter trance mode. There's no automatic trance activation in trance mode. Trance mode enters power up the ship and all destroyed enemies during trance convert their bullets into gems. So yeah, it makes the game a whole lot harder and stuff, but uh, potentially a whole lot more fun for people that really like the challenge and the... You can get way more higher scores in that game mode. Uh... There's only true difficulty allowed for that difficulty, I guess. I could have sworn hard and true, maybe just for the Switch. Uh, by the way, yeah, go get this game. That's the whole reason I'm making this video. I want this big game to be known by more people. Like I said, I have the Switch version and right here you're seeing is the PC version. This game is basically on every platform imaginable, so you really don't have a reason not to. Uh, what's that? You feel you don't have a console or a PC? Well, have I got news for you? This game is also on the mobile stores. Like Google Play and App Store. I don't know why I'm doing these hand gestures, but yeah. This game is freaking great. If you've never played a single bullet hell game in your life and, you re and you're really interested, this game is the perfect starting point. I say. It is, part it is in the name of the game. If you look at the description uh, on, on any of the store pages this game is featured in. Yeah, there's only true mode. Weird. Uh, there's bonus mode as well. Uh, again, you can select. So, uh, bonus allows you to go for boss rush. Boss rush is unlocked upon beating the game without using any continues. Known as a 1cc uh, among the uh, STG players. STG means shooting game. Don Mac Unlimited belongs in the genre. And free play. Free play lets you play any stage you want from start to finish. Uh, doing anything in bonus mode doesn't let you unlock any uh, of the shot types. The only way you can unlock a shot type is by playing through spirit mode in any difficulty or graze mode. So with that out of the way, I believe I can finally put all my attention in trying to get do good, as good as I can at the game now. So here we go. Round whatever round this is by now. In normal. I am in normal, right? Nope, I am in easy. That's no good. Alright, so type A, uh, most beam types uh, home in on bosses. Uh, type B doesn't though. Uh, type C also homes in, but it also has these side lasers that don't home in. Type D uh, also doesn't home in, if I remember correctly. And type E is... You... Uh, 
uh, it, it swerves depending on whether you're going left or right. So that's pretty cool. Type A is pretty standard, it's got nice range. Type B is, long, is stronger, but it has less range. Type C has these options, uh, which if you're a pro, you can make a lot, uh, which gives you a lot of variety. Uh, you can either go for a lot of range or a lot of power, but it, it requires a little bit of skill to learn. This thing has infinite range because it has homing shots along with the straightforward shot, giving it literally infinite range, uh, but it's the weakest. Uh, and Type E is the same as Type E beam. Uh, if you swerve around, you uh, do the shot. Eh? Alright, I'll be there. Ah, a little too early for dinner. I'll give it. I'll give the game one more honest try, and then I'm off for dinner. Let's do this. Arise from your slumber, Valkyria. Justice to those who bring malice. Stage one. Yesterday's tomorrow. Starts off with all most of the enemies firing some simple aim shots at you. There's these enemy types that, uh, after finishing their shooting, they go banzai towards you. Alright, and then the mid-boss. His pattern is entirely static and can be dodged the same way every time. Once the lasers show up, try to graze those. If you really, if you care. And you can. You don't have to, just a friendly advice from me to you. Hold on, my brightness is too bright now. Uh, I really like how there's a time, uh, there, how there's a countdown before the game continues. That's really nice. More, more bullet hell games should do that. You can just see. Uh, I won't stop gushing about it, but yeah, there's just so much detail, attention to detail, put into every little thing here on the gameplay and stuff. So much polish, so much love. Went into everything about this game. And I love it. Right, my trance activated at a bit of an unfortunate time, but that won't be a big deal. Raise those immediately before my graze resets. I'll go for survival strats, just minimum graze. Grazing only to make sure I can maintain my graze meter. Never mind, I want to be risky. Ah! If you get hit, your graze resets to zero. Also, you don't get the bonus for clearing a wave. You can get bonus score for clearing a wave without, uh, getting hit. Alright, this pattern parts off a spiral pattern along with this, uh, large condensed bullets. They're aimed at you, though. So yeah, try to get through the wave while slowly moving from one side to the other to get away from the aim shots. Both to maximize your graze and, you know, because that's the safest way to do it. Because if you move too much, you're you're in for a hell of pain. A world of pain. No. Woo! Oh. <laughs> Sorry. I love this boss music so much. They changed what bo what uh, the boss music for stage 3 and 4, and obviously the final boss has its own boss music, and the true boss, again, its own boss music as well. Uh, but I don't like those ones. The stage 1 and 2, uh, which is called Warning, it's my, it's my favorite. Stage 3 and 4 uses Encounter, which I don't like as much. 
<laughs> I took one damage. How, un how embarrassing. Wait, why do I only have one? Did I take two hits? This'll be a let's play series if I if it has to. I will clear this game. I've done it once, I can do it again. Aw oh, no, I let my grace. Dang it. I was aggressive, but not aggressive enough. The balls are aimed at you, the other the blades are not, and then eventually she'll fire that laser. Try not to be in the center when that happens, but if you do get caught in the center, which is very uh, much a possibility that can happen, especially if you haven't played the game before, I mean. I know I certainly fell for the trap. You're, you're not a lost cause. At the very least, you get a lot of grace and the not moving uh, uh, beats this beats that part easily enough anyway. And by by the time he parts the laser, he's almost dead. Lots of aim patterns and stuff here. Ignore everything else. Just focus on the stuff that are aimed at you and move away from them slowly. Alright, there's these waves of stuff, blades, and then he fires off these aim shots at you. Slowly move away from them. Move too fast and uh, uh, you won't like what happens when you move too fast. Let's just say, let's leave it at that. There's a lot of visual clarity with the bullets as well, which I really like. They're, e they're always either purple or red, and no other color. So it's really easy to distinguish bullets from enemies from uh, and the background. Because every- uh, the background is usually contra- uh, is usually always contrasting with the bullets. This pattern is the same and can be dodged the same way all this every time again, by the way. Ah! Oh my god! I already lost the stock and it's on the stage now! Why am I doing so embarrassingly? Believe in the deceptive hitboxes, baby. I thought I was a goner there. I played this game in school once. I like to bring my Twitch at school. And yeah, well, uh, lunch, I was done with my lunch. So while waiting for the next uh, period, I just decided to boot up my Twitch and play this game. Someone saw me and, and they couldn't look away, man. <laughs> Can't blame them. Game looks so good, and you know, I I was on a roll that particular time as well. They were at awe at my power. Chain of 3,000 score. I uh, get a score. Get a. I swear you can do it even in normal mode. I. Uh, it's just a little harder, I think. Actually, it's stage four that I practiced in order to get the 3,000. Uh, I haven't. You guys haven't seen it yet, but oh no.
Don't get too close to the top of the screen, guys. It will let you graze more and stuff, but if you get too close, you're just gonna eat some ships. to get some more graze and make sure your graze doesn't run up when you get to that section because there's like a really long period where there's no bullets you're very likely to not to reset your graze counter if you don't move up in that part I did say the beam homes in on bosses, but not on normal enemies. If there's no bosses on the screen, the beam just fires straight up like that. Wanna try to stay as far away from uh, the enemy as possible here, because of those cross shots, those cross circle, uh, those cross pattern bullets, circle bullets. Alright, move slowly from side to side to dodge this random looking bullet pattern, which is very much not random. Uh, focus on the fast moving bullets and then deal with the slow moving bullets. When that happens, uh, I usually just have a trance here so I can easily avoid it. Ah, oh, but like, ah, oh, it's so hard. These patterns are actually aimed at you though, actually, so never mind, I lied about there not being any aim patterns here. Just move away fast at, but also slow, if that makes enough sense. There you go, that's how that pattern's done. You can't bullshit your way out of those- Oh, goddammit. Oh my god, why won't you die? This is your last pattern, please. Let me have it. Never mind, he still has one more pattern. And I'm at my last lie!